BAM Pop Culture Subscription Mystery Box. So this is the newest one. This was shipped back on April 13th, so I've had this thing for, for a while. This is going to be, I think, like volume five, box three or something like that, if I remember correctly. I could be off on that. So this is like around like 30 bucks a month, like 35 bucks a month, something like that, 30, 30 35 a month. Um, every month they just charge your card until you cancel your subscription. You can cancel any time, like there's no... You know, you don't have to keep your subscription if you don't want to. But, um, yeah, you got an autograph 8x10 every single time. Like a movie prop, kind of like a replica or something like that. Art print, monthly pin. And, uh, yeah, value-wise, it's not bad. Some months are better than other months. And, uh, you ready to do this? Let's see what we got. So, bam. Pop culture. Well, if I can get it cut. There we go. So right now there are no cheat sheets in these boxes because their printer isn't available. So they give you like a uh, a website to go to to see the cheat sheet. So we'll do that at the very end of this video. Go back to the cheat sheet, see what we got. So fit on the inside. First thing, we've got the paper on top. It kind of hides the content so you can't see what's in there. So you take that out. So you fill around a little bit. I feel... Like a sports card, like a trading card. They usually have cards every month, like, of, you know, themes. I don't feel monthly. Okay, there's a monthly pin. I don't feel much in this box, honestly. Art print. There's actually, I feel like there's an art print autograph and something else in there, like a, like a cardboard box. Sometimes they put cardboard boxes in this, like... Like movie props, like like last year they did one for Stranger Things with like the Ego box, and I thought, you know, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of that. I'd rather just not have another cardboard box. But here you go. We'll do the pin first, and what do we get? Oh, we got a uh, what's his name? Like you know, it's like Donald Duck, but like uh, you know, like a variant of Donald Duck. Whatever his name is, I'm 100% sure. That's kind of bad, but was it Darkwing Duck? Does that sound right? Darkwing Duck? Maybe? I think that might, that might sound right. Some of these things do have harder to get variants of them. Usually whenever you do, it'll be like numbered on the back of it. But yeah, this is volume 5, box number 3 for the pop culture. Let's pull out this small stack of stuff, like trading cards and... Oh, nice. Leveled up. You have been leveled up. Cool. So, one of the items in your box is a variant. That means there are fewer made than the regular item. Please check your insert to see which one you got. Box number three. So, I got a variant again. So, that could be a variant for the art print. Variant for the autograph. Variant for, like, the movie prop replica. Variant for the pen. One of those is going to be a variant. Every box does have a scratch-off card now. And you can actually win... 4K TVs, PlayStation 4s, art prints, free band boxes. I have never won anything. I actually don't know anybody who has won anything. Have you ever won these cards? Comment down below. What would you win? Because I'm kind of curious of who actually has won on these giveaway cards. you got to match all three symbols. My first two are different. Sorry, no, I don't win. My first symbol is a pin upgrade box. Second symbol is a PlayStation 4. And the first symbol says free BAM box. Once again, did not win anything. But yeah, you can't have an instant winner. Uh, instant winner symbol means that you win the item that is written underneath the instant winner symbol. So, yeah, the free BAM box is not instant winner, I guess, right? I guess not. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, let's go back in. We have trading card, pop culture trading card. We have, well, that's cool. We got Batman. It says bang on his chest. Look like this is a two card set. This card here would be the Joker. You got Batman. So going to complete the set, you got to find the Joker card now. So I doubt this is any kind of a variant. Um, so this is anything, you know, Super special is number 403 out of 2,500 made of Batman. Okay, go back in. Here we have a movie prop replica. I feel like a cardboard box, and it is a cardboard box. So we have 
Spaceballs the Serial. Cool movie. Cardboard box. So, uh, yeah, I won't keep this. A lot of these items from these mystery subscription boxes I do sell on eBay, so I'll always leave a direct link down below in the description box to my eBay store if you want to buy anything. If it's for sale, it'll be in the store. If it's not there, it's either already been sold or I'm going to keep it. Or I haven't listed it yet. One of the few. So yeah, this hopefully has some value to it. I really don't know if it does. Just a space ball cereal box. Cool movie, but I don't want it. Let's see, here we go with the art print. I'll show you first what we got. Who is it of? King Kong. Okay. This okay, this one is the variant numbered 57 out of 500, signed by the artist down there at the bottom, like a bronze sharpie. So that's uh, that's nice. it's an okay print. Not the best print, I don't think. It's kind of cool, kind of not. It's like 50-50, like 50 good, 50 bad. Eh, it's that's okay. I won't keep this. I'll be selling this too. So then you back, you have your certificate of authenticity for the print. And the artist is I don't know. I can't read it. The, doesn't it never tells who actually signed it though, but yeah, there's the art print, so yeah, it's okay. So, so far, really, nothing in this box that I've liked. So, hopefully, the autograph is good because nothing here I really, I really cared for. Here we go. Last thing I will show you first autograph eight by ten. Please, something good, please. Okay, fast times at Ridgemont High. I do not know the actress's name. Could even could even guess that. It looks like it's Amanda something. Um, yeah, decent movie. I've never really been a huge fan of Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Just never really like I don't know. I've never really been been a huge fan of it. So uh, that's the box this time. I'm just eh. Not not too impressed with it. Not too impressed. Re really, I'll probably sell everything from this box. Honestly, I won't keep anything. There's really nothing I really liked. But here we go with the piece of paper telling us. For the next couple of months, we will be doing a digital handout until the printing companies we use are back up and running full speed. Find your band box insert, so let's look this thing up online. So we got box number three is here. This box boasts an incredible autograph, an out-of-the-box prop, and a ton of fun. We start a new artist for the artist select card for the next two boxes. Make sure to get box number four to complete the set. So here we go with the celebrity autograph. From one of the fan favorites of the 80s comes Fast Times at Ridgemont High. We're excited to have Amanda Weiss, Weiss, W-Y-S-S, Amanda Weiss, Weiss, who played Lisa in the movie. Look out for the metallic movie poster level up as well. I would have loved to have the poster uh, level up. That would be kind of cool. And we got a fan art print. Bam creator Adam is absolutely in love with Tiki's. He has been collecting them. Blah, blah blah. We couldn't resist our favorite characters. Make sure to look out for variants. Okay. Fan art print. We're excited to have first time artist Mike Flynn. His unique movie poster style for Kong is Killer. Look for variants numbered out of 550. I got the out of 500 variant. And then a movie prop, which I think is. I just do not like these cardboard cutout movie props that they do in these boxes. I just. I, I guess if you collect cardboard boxes of just stuff, they're cool, but. I'm not a fan, but says from the scene featuring iconic Mel Brooks and one of the best spoof movies ever made comes Spaceballs, the serial. Great job from prop maker Lee Kim or King, the artist select car. So next month you probably will get the next one. So that is this, that is the BAM Pop Culture Volume 5, Box 3. All in all, I, I kind of get it. Two thumbs down this time. Just don't like the contents. Nothing I nothing that I wanted in this box. I might keep the autograph because I collect autographs. So I honestly, I'll, I'll probably keep the autograph. But I really, I don't want it though. But I'll, I'll keep because I, I collect autographs. So I'll, I'll keep that. But everything else, it's all for sale. Um, so yeah, this box, in my opinion, was a huge downer. Uh, Could have been better, but. Uh, you know, not every box you will like every item in the box. Some boxes you won't like anything. Some boxes you'll just freaking love it. That's so subscription boxes. They can't make boxes that everybody's going to love. That's that's impossible. So like the next next month, the next box, I might freaking love everything. But this box, I wouldn't like anything in it. But 
That's the gamble you take with subscription boxes. You know, it comes with the territory. So I'll see you next time with more mystery boxes. I'm out.